Anna with a CSMC 1001 and 7030 assignment video. This is for semester 2, 2017. So, this assignment will be making a game. Let's have a quick run through of the game. Cool. First things first, it should ask you, what's, hello, what's your name? My name's Anna. And ask you to guess a six letter word. And there will be an 11 step process. This 11 steps is basically just going guess letters from 1 to 2. I'm going to do a little dirt right now and just put in random letters. Then it'll go 1 to 3 and 2 to 4, what not. So the way scoring works is that how it works is for if you get no letters correct that isn't in the word, it's 0 points. If you get a letter correct in the correct position, it's 100. If you don't, if you get a letter correct but no, not in the right position, it's 20 points. Also, our words, make sure there are no duplicates of letters. So it's not going to be like tool, so T double O kind of thing. Cool. Let's just keep putting some random letters in. Cool. Another thing to note is that here it's saying now guess four letters. Say if I put five letters in, like not the correct, it goes invalid guess. This should be four characters long. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. So after the game, it should say, "Sorry, you didn't manage to guess the correct word. It was equips. Better luck next time." Then it says your total score was 460. The way 460 racks is it adds up all these ones here: 120, 100, 100, whatnot. Cool. So that's the basic rundown of the game. So. Hopefully that's helped understand the game rules. It's an 11-step process to guess a six-letter word. You're going, and it'll always be these 11 steps. The way scoring works is if it's in the correct position, you should get 100 points. And if it's not in the correct position, but it's still in the word, you should get 20. So for example, this word's castle. A and T aren't in the correct positions, but they are there in the word, so you get a total of 40. The R, A, T. So R doesn't count because it's not even in the word. A is correct position, so 100 points. T is correct, uh, correct letter, but not in the correct position, so 20 points, so 120 points. Cool. Okay, so now let's get into the specifics of the coding and what we expect from this assignment. So, before you even get started in the assignment, read through the entire spec, as well as make sure you watch the videos and do the tutorials. Tutorials are essential to understand this assignment. Okay. In this task, we'll be asking you to write four, func uh, four functions, right? D load words, compute score, prompt guess, and main. I would recommend to attempt them in this order. Plus also, this, is, this assignment is going to be computer automated testing. So when we ask you to write these functions, we ask you to write them in the exact same word. So load words, file name, length. And when you finish a function, test it out. See what it gives you. If you put it in word.txt6, does it give you this? Same with the compute score and the prompt guess. Feel free to have helper functions. We won't be testing them out. So helper functions are basically, oh, this function's really long. Let's break down the code. Sorry, let's break down the code into sections. And those are called helper functions. Cool. So, first one's first, load words. Load words is basically you want to get a file, which is words.txt, and you want to give it a length. So, get, look at, give me all the words with six letters in them, and it returns it to you as a list. Cool. In the game, you'll only ever be asked, like the user will only play with six letters. However, we do ask you to make sure that you do have that length in there, because we'll be testing it with other numbers. With compute score, compute score is all about get, um, computing that score. So you have that guess, for example, ABC, the position where it's starting, and the word bruise. In here, you're going to be re really going to highlight the distinction between the position and what the user sees as the position. So the user will see like normal counting. The first letter is A or whatnot. Second letter is T. However, for the computer, for these assignments, we'll be asking zeroth indexing. So we'll be going from the zeroth character, from the first character, from the second, oh, sorry, tooth character. Make sense? Cool. Put again, put these answers in, and see if you get the correct scores. 
for prompt guests, we ask we'll ask you to sorry, I'll start again. For prompt guests, we ask you to give us a position and a length. Position is where it is in starting. Again, zeroth indexing. So zeroth character is the first one. And then the length. So the length, how many should they guess? Right? So should be good. Should print out this and goes, hey, what do you want your guess to be? If the guess isn't the correct length, it should go invalid guess at the uh, what your guess is should be X amount of characters long. I really really highlight and stress to you as this is computer automated testing copy and paste this exact format in the sense copy and paste this exact line because sassy comments are hilarious to tutors but the computer won't recognize this and may not pass you in certain tests so as long as you have this exact formatting you should be good we have warned you now so be careful okay next one is main main is the function like a top level interaction so this is where it runs when it runs it does all this code it should coordinate between the other three functions you write as well as help with a little bit extra it's like the hello what's your name kind of thing cool design considerations check out this paragraph read it check out this course website yep I believe in you guys um okay everyone should know about assignment submission read it if you don't and what files to download Okay, for assessment and marking criteria, I think this is where everyone's like, okay, I need to know what's up. So, criteria-wise, it's going to be a pretty straightforward tick box kind of style. Functionality, that's going to be computer automated. So, make sure you have those testings done. Documentation are the easiest 20% to get and the silliest 20% to lose. This is literally, have you put doc strings in the correct format for all your functions? That's what we're asking here. If you're not sure what type of commenting you want, you want to go check out our course website down here. Same with our style. This is really important because this, these two marks will be in every assignment upcoming. Lastly, we have the programming constructs. Programming constructs are 40% of your mark. So, program is well structured and readable. This is how have you structured your code? Are uh, basically have you given us spaghetti code? When I say spaghetti code, are uh, the chunks of code coherent? Are they logical? And also, are the chunks of code coherently connected together? So there's not code, there's not logic going everywhere, it's just all in concise chunks. For variable and function names are meaningful, this is as it sounds like. Are your variables named clearly? Are they ABC, which is not very great, or are they guess, user guess, that kind of stuff. Algorithm logic is all about using the right constructs for the right tasks. Are you using if statements where you're meant to be using if statements? Did you use a for loop when you should have used a while loop? Also, think about nesting. So we don't want many ifs inside loops inside another ifs inside whiles and whatnot. That's going to get really convoluted and that's not great algorithmic logic. So, hopefully that's helped with understanding the first assignment for CSCC 1001. Good luck. If you have any questions, ask ITLC or the tutors, as well as attempt the tutorials as well. Good luck and hope you all the best.